take a break or no? I hung out here in Columbus. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah. Did you focus on hockey or did you step away from the game for a little bit? Uh, I don't think you ever step away, but yeah. it was, uh, you, you try to reset and figure out some things you need to do when you lose your last couple going into the break. You look at your video and go. It doesn't change for coaches. It really doesn't. You just go about your business. More time to think. Yeah, more time to think not play enough games. Yeah. <laughs> what, did, what did you learn last year going into and coming out of this five-day break? Because it is kind of unusual. I don't even remember last year. No. Where were we last year at, 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 at this time? Really good standing. Yeah, well, we were in yeah. good standing all of last year anyway. Yeah. So this is, a, this is a different story. It's a different season. Uh, but you wake up in the morning and, you, and you're still right in the middle of things. So uh, uh, second half, uh, we've got to try to gain some consistency uh, and just take it one day at a time here. We're not going to panic. We're not going to overthink it. Uh, we're going to try to be a better team each and every night. You gained a forward today, a versatile Juice, yeah. Forward. yeah. Yeah. Tell me your thoughts on him uh, where you might fit. I had him a long time ago in Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. What was that, 13 years ago? Yeah. Um, smart player, good teammate, uh, has put points up in the National Hockey League. I'm not sure what's gone on the past year. He's kind of bounced around a little bit. Uh, I asked him when I talked to him this morning uh, or, or this afternoon, after afternoon, uh, does he have any gas in the tank? He's ready to play. Um, I'm not sure exactly where he fits right now, uh, uh, but he, he's a skilled guy, smart, cerebral player. So with, with some of the injuries we have going through here, uh, I think it's a, it's a really good thing for our team. He can win a faceoff. Yeah, he plays center and wing. Yeah. Uh, he may, may be playing a little center tomorrow night. He's still got to sit down and really just figure it all out. But uh, he's versatile, good power play guy. Yeah, um, Yeah. I, I don't know. I haven't watched him uh, the past couple of years. But a few years ago, he put up a number of points in this league. So he can bring some offense. He goes into your shootout. He's a good shootout guy, yeah, 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 yeah. Is, good man. If he is at center, uh, that, uh, Don't ask me my lines, please. Uh, if that's what you're working to, don't no, ask. I don't know what my lines are. No, I just I don't. I was Schrader, though. Yeah. Just about, you know, we've talked about how when he's on the wing, he can kind of use that speed a little bit better. Well, Schrader uses the speed. He's a fast player. He uses it no matter where he plays. Uh, quite honestly, speed comes out more through the middle of the ice. So I'm not sure what the lines are going to be. A little bit of a setback for Sonny. Yeah, yeah. Where do you think he was before leaving the line? Still trying to find his way as playing a complete game and being consistent uh, both offensively and defensively. Uh, a process that we knew he'd be in. Uh, so he, in, in fact, I think he's a, uh, if anybody forecasts the amount of minutes he's gotten, the amount of goals he scored this year going into the season, I don't think we'd be thinking that. Uh, I think he's broken through. Uh, is he a full-fledged National Hockey Leaguer? He still has some work to do uh, with the consistency of everything. So it, it sucks that he gets hurt. Coach, I missed you on the radio today, but you, did you discuss Jack Johnson, or what was your anything relative to his situation? Jack, if you have a question about it, I'll answer the question. I'm not going to go into a rhetoric. What's the question? Where does he stand with you? What was the... Oh, situation? Jack? Well, I, I think it gets a little... Uh, uh, I don't think it's Jack Johnson pounding his fist on the table and saying, I want out of here. I think it's a player when, when he's lost some minutes in his game, he's at the end of his contract, uh, maybe negotiations uh, aren't going on, he wants to know if there's other options. That's how it is. Now, how it's portrayed, uh, and I think, I, I know I've talked to Jack, I think you can ask Jack the questions, I think he'll... He'll give you the honesty today as far as what's going on. But as, what's changed between Jack and I, not a damn thing. I have a tremendous amount of respect for Jack. I think he has to be one of the players. There's three or four that need to get their game more consistent for us to have any chance in, in the second half as far as playing in the playoffs. So, And I'm counting on Jack. This doesn't change anything with me and my thoughts about him. Uh, uh, he, him and I have, have known each other for a long time in national tournaments. I know what he is. And I know he's not a player that wants to get the hell out of here. I'm not sure how it's being portrayed in the media, but it's not that. It's, it's a guy that, uh, you know, well, if we're not going to do this, well, there are other opportunities. I, and I think that's human nature for a player worried about his future, and especially when his minutes have dwindled. So Jack and I have got to come to an agreement and uh, or work together. I wouldn't say agreement, work together to try to get his minutes back up 
Uh, and so it's a two-way street. He shows me, and he's going to get an opportunity. He's playing with Savvy tomorrow night. Uh, if he, it, it, we just want to keep on growing because I think he's that important to the team. John, how tough is it? How tough is it? My been pleasure for you, knowing that he wants more minutes to sort of tune out the players' desires and and focus only on what you see. That's as the easy coach. for me. It? It's so easy for me because I, especially Jack, I know him. Yeah. I mean, we have gone through a lot of different things together. World Cup, Olympics, uh, and uh, I forget what year. I've just known him for so long, and I've watched what he's done in the league. This doesn't change anything as far as my feelings for him. And, and I think, you know, I'm not sure. I, I don't think it's the I, I think it's the same thing with him, and I think we have a really good relationship. Uh, I, my, the onus falls on me is to try to get him better, try to help him to get better. I am certainly not going to. Uh, look the other, uh, go the other way because a player is kind of talking about his future. I think the agents kind of screw this up a little bit too, uh, and they and they kind of. I, I just think information doesn't need to get out there. Uh, I guess you broke it, didn't you? You broke the story. Yeah. So you, who did you talk to? Did you talk to Jack or the agent? Uh, I spoke to people. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it is what it is, and this is part of the game. And one thing, I'm not worried about Jack Johnson handling this it, it, because he's a pro and he, and he gets it. And it's not, Jack loves it here. His family loves it here. Uh, so if we get him playing better and maybe win some games, who knows where it all yeah. goes here? That, has, that's the thing. Has that been your message to him, though? Like, you can get what you need here if the play is better. Like, you can have a Jack play knows on. that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jack, Jack knows me, too. Uh, uh, he knows I'm not going to lie to him. We had a great meeting uh, uh, before the Vancouver game, before I, I didn't even know all this stuff was coming out after. Uh, Jack kind of alluded that, you know, he just wanted to talk to me face to face before some things start moving along. I thought it would be going as going towards a trading deadline because you're, when players aren't getting the ice time they, they usually get, and, and Jack's been kind of talked about a little bit this year, when the trading deadline comes, everybody talks about those type of players. So this isn't a, uh, I don't consider this a, a, I think it's just part of sports. And uh, uh, nothing changes with me with Jack Johnson. I, I want to try to help him through it. Uh, and, and try to get him to the level that we need him to be so we have a chance to win. Has he seen a weighing on him? You, you sound like you alluded. Has, has the whole thing, because at the beginning of the season, it was one of those things like, you know, who, who, who knows if this is Jack's last year. Has it, you, you say you know him. Yeah. Can you see it weighing on him? Jack is starting his family, uh, young family. He's a human being. He, he, of course, when he's at the end of his contract, and, and some of the things that have gone on in Jack's life, uh, you know, it, sure, he thinks about that. And why wouldn't he? Uh, but we, we trust Jack in that he puts that away and tries to play the right way. Uh, uh, I'm sure at times in preparation it has affected him, uh, as it does all athletes. Uh, when they're getting older, they're not sure where their contract is. All that, all that stuff weighs on people. It would weigh on you guys, too. It, it, so I respect that, and I respect Jack's honesty with me about the whole situation here. And uh, I know I, I will never have any doubt on what he's going to try to do as a player. He's going to try to be the best he can be for his teammates in this organization, and then we see where it all goes. John, I was going to ask you about, if, with a player coming to you like he did before Vancouver, is, does that just speak to who Jack is? Has that happened to you often when a player's in the situation he's in with the deadline coming up? Yeah, it's happened, but okay. that's, that's Jack. Let's just talk about Jack, not other players. That's what Jack's about. Jack is a... Uh, he won't lie. Uh, he's a stand-up man. Um, I, that's why I, I, I kind of moved an A to him, because I just wanted his attitude and his preparation and just the pro that he is. So uh, I, it, it, it doesn't surprise me. It, I, I think it happens more the other way, where guys kind of hold it in. But Jack is, I think our relationship is strong enough, is that he wanted to talk to me. And, and, he, and, he, and he didn't want me to hear, I wasn't sure, he didn't come out and say that uh, I wanted to be traded. He says, I, I just think some stuff's going to probably start coming out along the way. I want to talk to you face to face. I love it here. I want to improve as a player. I want it to work here, but I also have to think about my family. I don't blame him for that. I don't. And I, res I really respect him for his honesty. Why did you decide to put him back with Savage? Because I thought he played a good game. The, the meeting, to make it clear, Jack didn't come to me. I had a meeting with four players before the Vancouver game, four very important players, to basically talk about what the second half should bring for us, how important they are. Because after the Vancouver game, I don't go in the room after. And that's their time because they're on break. So I wanted to let them know before the game. And that's when Jack asked me if we could talk one-on-one -on -one after that group meeting. So 
Uh, it's a great dynamic uh, for me, for a player, to be honest. And uh, uh, I think you, you can solve a lot of problems, keep the damn agents out of it, and, and let the players speak. And I think uh, uh, it doesn't turn into sensation. It, it turns into just an honest conversation and an honest thought about what's going on with a player's mind. You would mentioned you thought those guys had gotten stale. Do you feel like you know the good the chemistry they had before you can get that back with those two now? Well, the I, I mean just on past performance, uh, you've you've got to think that they can they can get it back. You can't you, you can't always go into a situation, change change a D pair and say that's it. I'm never going back to it. They they've played too well together for me not to say you know what let's give them a whack. And now all this comes to me, it's perfect for me. Uh, and for the team, because all this stuff's coming out here, and uh, it, you know, it, it puts Jack into a spot. I'm going to show you, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm anxious to see him play because I, I, I just think he, there, I think he has much more hockey to play in his career. I hope it's here. I guess quickly on the, you don't make the schedule, but to the dynamic of coming back off the bye week and playing a team that starts to play the fourth game tomorrow night, does it change what you, your message to your group <coughs> or how you approach it? No, no. I try to get Scott. I try to get as many touches in practice today, just to try to get their hands feeling the puck. It doesn't matter who we play, how many games they've played before, or what their schedule is. We know it's a really good team. Uh, we beat them in their building. I'm sure there's a little incentive on Hitch's part and uh, and their club. It's a team that's playing very well, but it doesn't change what we do. One thing, it, it, coming off the break, one thing does change is we're going to have a morning skate tomorrow. We usually don't have a morning skate. But I want to get another half hour of just getting some touches with the puck and, and some special team stuff tomorrow before our game. Do you get the sense that the way you went into the break, that they went into the break, that they, they're pretty eager to come out of it and get out there and play again? I think all athletes, when they have a few days off and they're home, uh, basically their wives want them the hell out of there too. They're, they want to come back and play. They, they were enthusiastic today. Uh, we lose a couple of games, kind of a funky period in Vancouver. We own the puck in Buffalo. Uh, I mean, we had the puck in 29 minutes in the offensive zone, which is basically unheard of. We just got to try to find the back of the net. And it, you, you can throw all the data, all the analytics at me. That's not going to solve this problem with us offensively. It's, it's me and the players getting together and trying to find some way to build their confidence. Me putting them in the right spots, and then they, they handle that, give them another chance, they get better, and then they start feeling better mentally. So I've had a lot of analytics thrown at me over these few days when, yeah, a lot. Um, <laughs> I, I just think it's, it's a relationship now between the coaching staff and players to try to work through it together. Stay positive and try to find some confidence here.